What a glorious day Melbourne has been. How are you going? Good, love the background. Good to go. Hot. Someone just spoke to you. I have no idea. Anyway, I'm at my parents' house here. We're about to go for a walk. Um, I haven't, yeah, it's a busy day after lunch. I'm gonna go for a walk, enjoy the sun, and actually, like, yeah, really enjoy it. And then I have work till probably like 6 30, 1 till 6 30 straight. A few meetings here and there. Um, I've been watching a lot of vlogs lately. And I'm like, what is different from theirs to mine? And all I'm thinking is they literally, especially like these weekly ones, they literally film pretty much everything and they don't care. And that's what I'm actually going to try and start doing is like filming everything, even when I'm not feeling great, even when work is not going great because you guys don't see that. Because right now I'm always thinking, oh, there's people are... Mum, it's okay. <laughs> there's people around, there's TVs on, there's no room, there's this, there's that, and literally that's just excuse. Howie, it is currently Wednesday. I am actually quite hot in this. I thought it was gonna be cold, but it doesn't seem to be cold. But I did have, like, I did just exercise for a little bit. And that's what I've been doing, like, every morning, I haven't been doing a full on exercise a full on walk it was more like 20 minutes booty band <sighs> i've hurt my arm <laughs> okay we can't have hair down today hair down is not a thing this hurts like me putting it up i don't know what i've done well i do know i exercised and then taking next week off um, not off of work, but off of client work because I am rebranding and in that entire week I need to make sure that everything is up to scratch. Which I will probably be vlogging because there's a lot of back end stuff so it's all the things that you don't realise that you need to change. Like people think you just change the logo and that's it. No, <laughs> there's a lot to it has rescheduled her strategy call twice so Monday she rescheduled for Wednesday and Wednesday and today obviously supposed to have it but there was a clash in her diary so I won't be doing that until I come back so probably the 27th the Tuesday that I come back um just wanted to give you a heads up um but I still think it'd be good for us to like chat and where we can go with it and like the dub sado and stuff like that um yeah just letting you know i hope you're having a great morning and i'll talk to you soon just eating <clears throat> my lunch mm -hmm. we're having pasta pull of fungi while we're working I'll take a break in an hour, probably go for a walk and stuff. Um, just going through a lot for people, so that's good. Um, you come, especially when you're doing like website ad hoc stuff, you come to like, not website ad hoc, but more technical marketing, like creating forms and this and that, changing things on websites. You do come to a lot of like roadblocks that you have to then wait on other people. 
And currently that's what I'm doing. Today has been, oh, I can't do it with this arm. Oh my gosh, let's try it right hand. Uh, been quite hard. Just more so like, there's little things happening that kind of seem like things are like, you know, falling apart or people questioning and it's just, it's just all business. Like I literally just got off the phone with one of my friends who used to run a digital agency and then she's like, yeah, that's what happens with scaling. <laughs> so I think what's going to be good is that I'm going to have a break this next week from client work and everything, get refreshed, be doing my stuff, get that all sorted. So it's off my mind, off my shoulders. Just little things that in my mind, I don't communicate to, and I need to learn to communicate these things to clients or clients of clients. Because sometimes I'm working for like an OBM and they have a client that I'm doing the work for. And then, yeah, I just didn't communicate something. And I could see how that could have come across. <laughs> But we live and we learn, like I'm still in my second year. This is second year now, second year of business. Still learning quite, quite a bit um, of how to do things around, you know, things. I don't know if I'm like making any sense because I don't feel like I'm making sense today. Today is just one of those days where I'm like, just get through it. Get through it and then then on to the next. You wanna come? Before it rains? Okay. <coughs> Dad outside. So mum's been knitting. Do you wanna show everyone? Yeah. Sorry, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Little dog jumper. Little dog coat. Except we don't have a little dog, we have a huge <laughs> dog. So this is for someone else's dog. But she's done so well. Would you like to see my other one? Sure. Show and tell. Show and tell. That's for a bigger dog. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay, now this was my first one, so very plain, but for a little papa. We need another colour. I know, but well, this is all I had in lockdown, okay? You can't go and see your colours. Okay, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't let me start ranting. I know, because you do like a different tone of voice. <laughs> My mum doesn't actually sound like that. <laughs> How do I sound normal? I know. Normal. Well, like when you when the camera's not on you, you're fine, your voice is fine. I know. Then the I've then the camera goes seen. on you and you're like dang it. I know, I've got the worst camera voice <laughs> and do not take a picture of me because I look terrible today. Stan, hello. You wanna say hi to the camera? I'm gonna look at them now. <laughs> so I haven't looked at them. I swear. Mum, I haven't had time to breathe. Yeah, I saw them. They're cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Anyway, I have now ret not, not retreated, I guess, come out of the, the little study down here. I'm gonna do a little bit more work before I end the night. Um, we're doing a audit and then a strategy from that audit. <laughs> Actually, this is my third one. I lie. I had done two, not even 9.30 yet. Um, but good, good start to the day. I had exercise and whatever. Today, right now, we're getting to a meeting. 
strategizing for one of our clients um, basically what we're going to be doing for her next year um, yeah just waiting for one of my team members to come on currently 9 30 it's gonna be it's a huge day but it'll be a chill day as well um, as in like I am so not doing work. Like I find if I have a day full of meetings, there is no point me doing work in between those meetings. Like, hey. Hello, how are you going? Good, love the background. You're very- uh... Thank you, just shutting my door, hang on. Um, I'm gonna have to reach out to me. <laughs> wow, really? like so many meetings I had like so many meetings I went for a walk with mum um, also just before came back have a bit of time my next meeting is at one o'clock so I've got about 20 minutes so I thought I'd play with the little man throw the ball around be in the Sun as much as possible because I don't think Melbourne weather is gonna be great um, I don't know what you can see. I can't see you anyway. But yeah, I just killed a mosquito. It like bit my butt, and I was like, "Why does my butt hurt?" But yeah, like when it's this weather, I just really want to make the most of it because I used to literally like not go out. Like I'd work, 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 work all day, and then I'm like, "Okay, yeah, I'll go for a walk at night," and then. Knowing Melbourne, it, it rains. So when the sun's out, that's when I stop work and do my stuff. Um, you're right, mate. Oh no, it's all gross. Come on, bring it, give it to me. Leave it. <sighs> Throwing left-handed, it's never a good idea. But yeah, so just to recap on some of the meetings that I had, the first one was a strategy session for November. Usually I do those in a month in advance. She's just on a different timeline at the moment. So we had to do that, get that done. Then, um, what else do I have? Strategy for December for a client and also contract renewal stuff. Uh, third one was, I guess like a 2022 look out for our client. Um, that we both service so we wanted to see what opportunities we could bring to that client know her goals um, and kind of plan that before we actually go to the client obviously because you want to be a united front and then I had um, my next meeting was it wasn't really a meeting it was an open office but it was good to go to just to like have a chat with everyone have a chat have a talk get things sorted um yeah then Stephen called went for a walk and now I'm here I think he's actually yeah he's done well you want to go again you good you good to go it's hot you want one more before I go he's like yeah you're close enough you can get that
I just got off a meeting with one of my clients and we um, went through the reasons as to, I don't know, things to tweak. Um, so basically she has a client that I'm helping out, um, but yeah, she's like, yeah, what, what should I do, blah, blah, blah. Now, whenever you have something like super niche and you're going to corporate, it's really, 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 really important to make sure that your messaging, actually for anything, that your messaging is on point. Because sometimes, especially when you're pitching, you only have that one time to get it right. Um, so I would say to people out there, if they don't know if their messaging is on point, go to do some focus groups, poll people, uh, go into like Facebook groups or things like that um, and really find where your ideal client's engaging and then like listen to like their comments and what language are they using around this topic, things like that. Especially when it's like this topic can have different connotations for different people, especially when it can be not resonating with males as much as it would resonate with women. However, that the offer is for males and females, um, especially when you're not going straight to the ideal client, but you're going to like, because it's corporate, you're going to HR and things like that. You really, yeah, need to figure out that messaging. Um, but yeah, it's Friday. I have my breakfast here. I mean, it's 10, 12 a.m. And I'm going to be watching some YouTube um, and then doing work from bed because it's a Friday. I don't have any other meetings. Also watching Sophie Jane in the background. I don't know about you, if you know who Sophie Jane is, she's an Aussie in Queensland and she seems like one of the nicest people there ever is. Like, she doesn't have a persona. She literally feels like it's just herself. Like, that's why I like watching her. She's normal, she's fitness, but yet she has a normal body. She eats. Um, I just think it's refreshing. So if you don't know, you should probably check her out. I am going to be doing some more work while my partner is in a meeting. Um, but I thought before I do that, I have a little sneaky treat. Um, it's the tropical pineapple one. I don't know if you guys have had this, but I haven't ever. I also have like a Turkish delight. I'm a sucker for them. A lot of people say this is gross. You have gross taste buds, whatever. I like them. I do. So I thought what I will do is put you up here and we'll do a little taste test before I get into the work. I don't know what, like I do like pineapple. It's not that I don't, but do I like confectionery pineapple? Smells like chocolate. Okay, here we go. I literally didn't get any other pineapple juice. But that's what... Mm. I feel like I'm not gonna actually really like this. It doesn't like blow my mind, but it's not like bad. I could do with that. <laughs> it's not one I would be like, I really want it. But in saying that, I'm not much of a confectionery person. Like, I'll have chocolate, but I do prefer, like, just the simple chocolate. Like, I have a lint in there and it's got the sea salt. I really like that. That I can deal with, that I can eat. And I won't eat heaps, like I'll eat like one square. But yeah, these after a while all kind of taste the same. I know, probably very weird, but I much prefer if I was going to be 
eating something that is like a treat. I would definitely go for something that's unique. Like a pastry, some sort of pastry that I don't ha or can't access all the time. I'm currently really sad at the moment. <laughs> I mean, this is looking amazing. He's making garlic bread with his sourdough, but there are currently no locations available. I am looking for a Guzman or a GYG. I'm craving this. I've had it once with my friend Oriana and we don't have any like so I'm looking at my dinner and I found Mad Mex and I'm like I think I've had Mad Mex before so what do I want just watching some more YouTube it's been a very rainy like literally rainy afternoon and I'm back I've just been literally chilling <laughs> I haven't it's been a very long week um I haven't had any time to chill we've um did the shopping and things like that and now trying to figure out what to eat for dinner it's my one night that I have takeaway is your boyfriend ever so loud on the phone? Like, I find men are very loud on the phone. Like, they don't understand how loud and um, robust, robust their voice is. And then I got, well I'm glad I got the small burrito. I got a beef and burrito. Apparently that's the small one. That's freaking huge. Nelson Road Stadium for AFC Richmond against Crystal Palace. I'm Arlo White and this is Chris Powell. And it's great to be here Arlo. Okay, so if you see there, I think my prayers have been answered or something because that's just that's coincidence like I didn't have we didn't have one in the area and now this red rooster has turned into one. Oh my gosh I'm so excited I I literally nearly just spat up oh my god hey guys I don't know if that's yeah that's be better how are we doing um Okay, so I just we're, we're we're waiting on someone to get a prescription, and I've just bought a latte and a little treat um, from it's called the Swiss Bakehouse. It looks old at the front, but inside it's like very, 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 very trendy looking. Um, I've never had coffee from here, but I was like, it's 12.30 and I haven't had breakfast. Yeah, it's not bad. That guy next to me has been here the entire time since we parked. Since we parked and, well, now I'm waiting. So we've been here for probably for hmm, 35 minutes. I'm just waiting for him to get his prescription and yeah anyway I wanted to talk about while well, he's not here um, not that's a secret but it's just easier I we will actually testing this camera because uh, I wanted to like obviously get other um, my hands are really sticky and I think it's from the pack I ended up getting a blueberry Danish that I would probably have at home once we get back, always have some sunny in the car. Um, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, we we're testing the camera, see if it would move, because I have a um, quite a deep thing here. So when you're on it, it doesn't actually move. So because I've always wondered how people do that. Like, how do people keep their camera? 
up um and yeah because i thought maybe it was in a cradle or stephen says that oh it's because they're in a um they're using their phone and i've seen some youtubers and they use their phone while well, not while driving but they parked like this using their phone with the camera so i don't know unless they then change it over but the quality still looks quite similar i have no clue anyway mister is coming back i did want to talk to you about um last night's mexican because i was pleasantly surprised mexican food so yes i'm really happy and excited that giyg was is coming but it made me actually you know go outside my little comfort zone and have some like mexican and it seems actually really quite authentic and i was saying last night that the only authentic mexican food i've had is in the states because they've got like amazing i'm not talking about chipotle i'm talking about like actual little nooks in brooklyn and stuff their their mexican food so good and when i came here and the first, i was like really excited so i had mad mex and it was just total crap <laughs> it was there was no flavor there was uh, yeah anyway what i'm trying to say is the mexican food we had, we had last night would totally recommend 100 percent it was really really good um i probably wouldn't go for the chips again because they were just normal chips pretty much but the burrito was so filling the only thing that i would take maybe half a point off would be the fact that they don't do burrito bowls and like if you don't want the burrito itself because you know you want something a bit lighter yeah that's the only reason anyway we're on our way to get our coals so i'll leave you here the coffee's really good and i'm really excited to have that blueberry Thing. So I'm deciding what nail polish I am going to be using. But honestly, if you ever have to like remove nail polish, I would honestly recommend this 100%. It's the fastest thing ever. You literally just dip your finger in and you dip it out and it's gone saves me so much time and then also now I don't <laughs> Avon doesn't have this anymore but my mum used to work for Avon and um, this nail what's it called? Nail Experts Liquid Freeze literally allows the nail polish to dry within 60 seconds or less and that's how I usually do my nails in within like 10 minutes because it just allows for me to do it within so many quick um, applications. Oh, you nearly got them, boo. Nails all done. Trust me, this, these are going to probably just last for a week. Yeah, so I only do my, like I do my nails every Saturday because of lockdown but I swear once once we're out of this lockdown I will be coming for my nail technician my nail technician being oh there we go um Paige from Sahara Nails so if anyone's in the Pakenham slash officer area you should go to her because she's good good and I miss it because honestly then I don't have to do my nails every week instead I go every like four to six weeks so we're making chocolate chip pancakes we don't have chocolate chips so we're using favorites and I tend to use all the chocolatey ones because the ones that actually have stuff in it there's celebrations in here too they don't tend to like bake or fry very well so yeah let's do this
we'll make this quick. Thought I'd just... Yeah, so they have like literally no battery, which is fine. I thought I'd wrap the vlog up. Because I need to edit it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, the next vlog that you're going to see is basically a week of me rebranding my, my business. All the behind the scenes of doing that. Exactly what I get up to. It's going to be a full on week, that's for sure. Also, 